All right, so I've had a request to make a video about the curtains on this barn that I've made. Um, uh, Dave up there at DLK Hay wanted, uh, he requested a video about me uh, showing him how I made these curtains. And I had to wait for a certain type of day because I wanted it to feel like home for him, so I waited till there was snow on the ground. Cause it seems like up in Canada there's always snow on the ground. So I waited until there was snow on the ground just for you, Dave. Um, it's actually not cold today, so it kind of defeats the, the purpose, but it is above zero today. Uh, you can see the cows are out enjoying the nice weather. But anyways, these curtains, this building, let's talk a little bit about the building first. When I ordered this building, you see how the front paints like a light red? And this looks like a dark red. It is a dark red. It's not just because there's a shadow. But if you look back here by the door, it's light red again. Um, basically, the way I ordered this building was from the end to here was a little room. That front wall was actually right here. Um, when I ordered it. When they came to construct it, I told them, I said, take the front wall and put out at the end. So they did that. Um, it saved me from having to trim around the door, trim around the windows, put all that metal, all that crap up. All I had to do, I bought three sheets of steel. Uh, there's a full and a half sheet on each side. So three sheets, I think was like 80 bucks. They wanted 80 bucks a sheet if I bought the metal through them. So I didn't do that. I, uh, I bought it myself and as you can tell, I have no taste in color and got the wrong color. I think this is barn red and this is just red. Or that's just red and that's barn red. I don't remember, but I ordered the wrong one. So that left me with the gap here, and I was going to get them clear poly um, sheets that look like metal and put on here and make them on like a a hinge deal where I can hinge them open. But my buddy told me to do curtains, and I thought about doing curtains before he suggested it. And then I seen how people do their greenhouses, so I came up with this idea. What I did. Is this is um, down here? We got a company. It's called uh, Clear Span. You can buy their products through Farm Tech. Um, they make them hoop buildings. Well, this is just that kind of fabric, like a greenhouse fabric. I don't remember how how thick it is, but I ordered that. I think in 42 foot uh, because this is a 20 foot length. I wanted it to hang over just a little bit. And I wanted some extra, and I don't know how long it is, but I got it wrapped around the 2x4, halfway down the back side of the 2x4 over, stapled along the front, top and back. And then right here, I have it wrapped around. This is 2 inch PVC, I think, or 2.5. And, and then I took just extra pipe, cut it in half, and used it to hold it down. And then I took and Right here's the support in the barn. I put a, a eye bolt here, there, and then I went down. Here's the next support. And then I went up to the next support, down to this support, up and then back down. And I'm gonna redo it. Um, it works all right, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go up, down, up, down, up because it, it blows quite a bit and uh, it needs to be a little bit tighter it uh, when the wind blows they the curtains tend to bulge out and they pop out of here but I mean it's not bad uh, they roll up fairly easy and let me uh, put my glove on cover the camera up here and I'll roll it up for you uh oh Got stuff on the camera, I guess. Um, I got these ropes. What I do when I roll them up, I just loop it on there. But they roll up, you know, fairly easy. And that rope's going to screw me. And the knot's on there. Good enough. Let's go to the other side. It'll be better for you. Because there's no uh, rope on it. Um, that rope, I tied such a good knot in it. That 
but it doesn't want to undo. Shut up, chickens. But here's the other side. You can see the wind starting to tear at them because the wind comes from this side. But they you just crank this. And I can roll them up all the way to the top and then back down now some people filled this with sand or water or concrete or just whatever they could get in it to help weigh it down i thought about that but didn't do it they're doing pretty good as they are like i said these do need tightened i'm gonna put a ratchet on there i got some old ratchets that the straps are bad and uh try to tighten them up that way but like I said I want to redo I want to go up down up down that way it gets a little bit more right here especially on the other side because the other side blows out this side just blows in not not much I can do about that but that's my hillbilly curtain system now the problem with the um, way I got this right here is it has to be at the end of the building so you can roll it up well the way my building's set up the animals are here so they're all the time goofing with them and it also i wasn't able to put my fence right out to the edge unless i cut a slot here or if i come up with like some kind of a universal joint deal that i could slide into there and roll it up like an actual curtain system has but that's what i did that's how i made it Here's the back side of the 2x4. It's actually two 2x4s. I got them jointed together there. And then I just used some big old self-tappers. I got the same self-tappers I used for here. They go through the wood and into the beam there. But that's how I did the curtains. Pretty neat. Makes this building look a little different. I like it. Kind of reminds me of like a little commercial hog building. And I thought, you know, if you ever wanted to build like a, a little commercial hog building, get you a couple of these, string them out together. Uh, put one in front of the other, you know, and put you some of them curtains on there and you'd have a mini hog barn. Um, which I thought about doing was either putting a building beside this one or in front of it and combining the two to make them a little bit bigger. But this building is expensive. Um... I have a lot in this building, so that's why I always try to keep something in it to kind of help pay for it. Even though on a hobby farm, nothing ever really pays for anything, so it's just, uh, as long as it's in use, I'm happy. It might not be the best thing for animals, but um, it's better than most things. So with that... There's the end of that video. I hope that answered your questions, Dave. If you have any more, you know how to get a hold of me. Um, I can answer some more. I can't hardly see my phone screen, so I don't really know what I'm pointing at. But anyways, there's that video. Thanks for watching.